Welcome to the Invasion of Godzilla, the remake. A realistically horrifying Godzilla story, where the temperature of his beams are hot enough to melt people's skin to their car seat, and his thirst for radiation can never be stopped. Check out Jacob Animation for more, and let's get into it. The Godzilla Rampage. The last tape of Buck Denver. Wait, what was that guy's name? Buck Denver? And Samantha Wilson, November 1933, the cruise ship incident. That's what's wrong with America these days. No one's named Buck Denver anymore. Look at that mustache. The cruise ship incident. That's crazy, bro. This is why I don't go on cruise ships. This and the ocean just freaks me the hell out, bro. Damn. Monster Discovery. That's what I'm talking Welcome about. To Monster Discovery. We are an organization that searches for and researches unique creatures around the world, even monsters. Even monsters. This organization has been built since 1984, and we have managed to discover and research tens of thousands of species of rare creatures and strange creatures around the world. Look at that fat idiot. However, on October 20th. 1993. Precisely in the North Atlantic Ocean, we managed to make our biggest and most mysterious discovery. In the depths of the North Atlantic Ocean, we find creature that shaped like dinosaur with spines shaped like leaves on its backs which are numerous and appear to be glow. Oh damn. Its skin has the texture of crocodile skin covered in Covered in wieners? Sharp and it has long claws. The creature is estimated to be almost 328 feet long. Our team succeeded in taking some photos of this creature. When we started to take a peek of it, it starts to move and avoid our spotlight. However, strangely, we found dozens of canisters of radioactive waste discarded on the seabed but which appeared to have been damaged by large bites. Damn! We speculate that it's likely that these creatures ate the radioactive waste. So far, this is our best discovery. I love Monster Discovery so much. A cruise ship carrying 1142 people sank on November 3rd yesterday. There are no confirmed reports as to how and as a result the cruise ship sank. According to police information, of 1142 passengers, they only managed to find 831 bodies. Damn! However, bodies? one passenger was found on the top deck of the ship safe and unharmed. The passenger was still in a state of shock and did not want to say a word. She was rescued and taken to safety. The teams are still searching for the bodies of the passengers and finding out the cause of this incident. Residents around Rockaway Beach told how on the night the cruise ship sank, they heard strange sounds from the sea. One of the local residents managed to record the sound and captured the mysterious figure who was caught that night. I'd never go in the ocean again. I'm already probably not gonna, but now definitely. Damn, the time has come. I'm terrified right now. What did you see on the cruise ship? When we entered the lower cabin of the ship, the ship appeared to be melting. Damn. No, not because there was a fire at all. There was no sign of fire other than in the upper cabin. When we checked all the rooms in the cabin, everyone inside melted together. Jesus! Paper bodies are fused together with each other and the uh. objects around them. Uh. I don't know how that happened. Uh, the only fire spot was in the upper cabin. I hate to interrupt this for a second, but quick spoiler, Godzilla x Kong, a tiny one. There was that scene where he was so supercharged that when Godzilla went into the ocean, the water was boiling him around him. This is exactly what I was picturing was happening to every civilian. As he walked down Main Street, like past all these apartment buildings, they were, they were melting, bro. He was hot enough to melt or to bubble the ocean. That's strange too, as if a meteor had penetrated the upper body of the ship. What the hell is this? Man, on the right side of the lower left body of the ship, there's a large claw like a lion's claw accompanied by what looks like a body part attached to the scratch. It was like a big, thick black thorn that was bleeding. Ugh! Gross! 
Ashley Parker, survivor of the cruise when ship. did you see Ashley? On that occasion, I was at the bottom of the ship's edge, leaving my friends who had gone out for dinner. But what I remember, a few minutes before the incident, people were cheering names of things like... I don't know. Not long after that, the ship felt hit by something and people started screaming. Things in the ship started to fall on me. I was buried in my room, unable to get out of the room and see what was happening. But I remember clearly there was something big passing by my window. But that wasn't it. I remember there was a big white laser that seemed to hit the ship. Oh. The moment I saw that light from Damn. the window, my eyes felt like they were going to explode. The atmosphere in the room became so hot. I felt like I was going to explode. Air felt poisonous and tight, and I fainted. I don't know what that light is, but the light was so hot that the entire ship felt like it was going to melt. Even the air felt poisonous when that light appeared. That's crazy, bro. Crazy. Damn, she's definitely going to get testicular cancer for sure. I feel like we don't properly realize the radiation damage Godzilla would be doing. The Godzilla we have is more of a defender currently. Or it'll be an enemy of humans. But just some like creature that happens to be existing seems so much scarier sometimes. Look at that thing. Good God. That's also what I picture happened to what's her name? The main, the mother and king of the monsters? She was on like ground zero when nuclear started to pulse monster zero. She got pulsed. If she was still alive, she got pulsed. For half a second, she was vaporized like the skin melted off of her face. I feel like realistically, oh no, if that thing walks through Alabama, everyone's gonna shoot at it. But that's like the East Coast city right there, or East Coast cities. That's like New York City. I think that's the Chrysler building. Oh my God! A large creature suddenly came from the North Atlantic Ocean and attacked New York. Aha! This creature has pushed its way through Brooklyn quickly and now is around Manhattan. And we can see earlier that military troops are getting ready to attack this creature. Is that thing atomic breaths? Everyone's gonna melt. That'd be crazy, bro. Like, where's Spider-Man when you need him? Damn. I don't even think Spider-Man can do anything. To be, I don't see what Spider-Man can do here. Even Venom. Isn't he, like, weak to heat? And this was the 90s, too. All of our video cameras sucked. No one had camera phones. They didn't exist yet. I'm old, I remember. <laughs> This would be like 9-11 times 50. Holy crap! Projectile dorsal spikes and evolve new ones. Oh, he just regrew them. The military has tried everything to kill this monster. However, all these attacks did not make it stop at all. The military made this monster fall due to a bomb explosion but it got back up and counterattacked all the military troops. Damn. Previously, it had eaten around seven nuclear reactors around the city. Oh, dear. We don't dear. know what he's going to do now that the monster direction is turning back towards New York again. Like, the real issue here is why does the city have seven nuclear reactors? What is it, Gotham? Once nightfall came, that's when things would get... Oh, God. Oh, man, a lot of people are about to melt. Oh, man. It would it be like the flash of a nuke? They say if you look dire directly at a nuke, then your retinas melt off or they burn off.
What is that? Rose dropping spirit bombs. My God, he's magnificent. Ew, he's got one of those goblin shark jaws. To be one of the last remaining survivors in the city. Oh my God. I still remember you. What the hell? The attack by this large creature claimed hundreds of people this night. It was reported that hundreds of other people disappeared the and were taken to hospital. Meanwhile, the creature has returned to the North Atlantic Ocean eating dozens of nuclear reactors in the US. I feel like New York looks like that most of the time anyways, but this could end badly. After the creature attacked US and killed hundreds of people that day. We start to dig up information about that monster. This is possibly the same creature that we found in the North Atlantic. Hey, only hundreds. The We're going to be fine. There's it. millions of us. However, looking at the radiation waste it consumes under the sea, it seems to suggest that this creature did not come to land to kill humans. But, it is to consume the nuclear reactors in the vicinity. This creature seems to be able to detect the presence of a nuclear reactor, eat it and then return to the ocean. But why eat a nuclear reactor? This creature seems to have mutated due to nuclear waste that is around it. It eats it, and mutates and must continue to eat nuclear material for the development of the creature. But we can't let it go. Over time, the creature can become bigger, bigger, and bigger and will get stronger. We are still trying to find out its origins and how to defeat this creature. However, we are sure. Whoa, in dude. the future, this creature will come back it's to, so land red to now. for nuclear reactors. Just be prepared and stay safe. Oh man, that face at the end. This was like my favorite one yet. I was getting into this one. This is like my favorite Godzilla invasion horror video yet. I feel like we really got a realistic sense for the atomic breath, like the damage it would cause, the heat, bro. The, the, the sheer lights that nuclear stuff like that gives off would burn our eyeballs out of our face. This is the Godzilla I'm looking for. This is like minus one if there was just a little less focused on the human storyline and more focused on the realistic damage those nukes would be doing. Every time minus one dropped a nuke, there would have been like thousands of people with seared faces and skin just screaming this is like what that reminds me of this was freaking awesome holy crap leave a like and subscribe for more stuff subscribe to this awesome channel because he deserves all the love in the world and i'll see you next time